So Jensen is the uh, the starting center. Alex Kappa was the other guard. He's in Cincinnati now protecting Joe Burrow. They did bring in Shaq Mason from New England. Remember when that trade was that happened and we were like, is Bill Belichick trying to just like help Tom Brady win? Like the trade made no sense. <laughs> but maybe like Shaq Mason can be great. But this seems like it's going to be problematic. So maybe it doesn't impact the way you'd bet Tampa's win total for the year. Maybe it will. Like any thoughts here, if Ryan Jensen's going to be out for an extended period, Ken, on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and how this impacts them. Well, I just think back to, we, I mean, we did Tampa. Did we do Tampa yesterday on the show? We did. Same division yes. that we're doing today. So we had, <laughs> I say same division. That could have meant we also did them on Monday with the rate we go with this stuff. But um, think, I mean, our philosophy on Tampa was obviously like a team that deserves a lot of consideration in the postseason markets. Obviously, Brady, Brady's their quarterback. Quite frankly, he's all you need. Uh, but, you know, makes all sense, you know, in the world for postseason stuff. Still going to make the playoffs, win a bunch of games. But like, when do you try to bet them? Because the first four weeks of the season are pretty difficult at Dallas, at New Orleans, home Green Bay, home Kansas City, the first four weeks. So we kind of took the approach of, all right, like maybe it's a situation, you know, Sam was talking about this, um, Sam Paniotovich, we had him on, was talking about this with Green Bay, like maybe they start slow through the first few games and look for a buy opportunity. I kind of think that's Tampa as the team that maybe you get that opportunity with kind of like Kansas City last year. This would really only just feed that approach right basically like but they got to figure out their offensive line like that might take a lot of time maybe they literally have to make like a trade in the middle of the season to acquire more talent it's possible um just that there's less continuity if there's less continuity then there's more likelihood the team gets off to a slower start basically um that's kind of my only thought here is just maybe it just feeds that kind of the approach that we were thinking of taking anyway don't bet this team early and then the second favorite basically to win the super bowl that's probably not a good idea now, but if there's a better price in the middle of the year or we get to the postseason and they don't end up with the one, um, which maybe is more likely as a result of this injury over 18 or 18 weeks, 17 games, less likely that uh, that they'll win that many games like as a ceiling. Maybe it's just it feeds the narrative of a, a buy later approach with the team. That would be the only my only application of this is just something maybe I was going to do anyway. Maybe this like gives me another, you know, a, a tiny push toward taking that approach.